so in today's session we'll start the training hmm. yesterday we did only the introduction part okay so today we'll start with a very basic uh, that is called fire triangle okay so you can find out the in your notes uh, page number three fire triangle and about that page you'll find the list of systems and what we discussed in the previous and then a few modules but the, as per the syllabus uh, already have given what are the modules I'm going to cover first is the fire triangle you see we are dealing with uh, controlling or extinguish the fire uh, means controlling or ceasing the fire now so first of all you must know uh, how the fire occur hmm. what are the elements uh, to get the fire hmm. so fire is simple fire is a chemical reaction because of what so here you can find on screen you see if you refer NFPA handbook or any uh, any book related to this firefighting system hmm, you'll find the first basic topic fire triangle because you if you know the cause of fire the elements of fire then only we can think to control to control the fire okay so here on screen fire triangle three elements or three things must present to get the chemical reaction that chemical reaction is fire so what are those things first oxygen you know without oxygen there is no question of combustion so oxygen is required for combustion second heat heat uh, up to what heat up to ignition temperature hmm. ah, you see for example if you apply the heat for any metal directly it will not start the fire hmm. it will take time till the ignition temperature when the ignition temperature reach for the particular material or uh, liquid whatever that can that can catch the fire hmm. I think you you did this experiment in your uh, engineering uh, flash point and fire point in thermal lab hmm. So flash point means means we are increasing the temperature for a particular oil and we are measuring the flash. So heat is required up to the ignition temperature. Mm. The second element of fire. The third side in the triangle is a fuel or combustible material. Mm. We require the fuel or combustible metal. Fuel means like uh, kerosene, gasoline, LPG, etc. Mm. Uh, liquid plus gases. And combustible metal means like uh, coal, uh, like uh, wood or paper trash these are all combustible materials okay so some fuel or combustible materials required together these three elements will create the chemical reaction and that chemical reaction is called fire okay and the concept is simple in order to control the fire take away any of this one side in the fire if you remove the oxygen or if you stop supply of oxygen the fire can control or to a fire, if you stop the supply of uh, this, if you reduce the heat, hmm, the fire can control. Or if you stop supply of this combustible or the fuel, then the fire can control. Hmm. But remember, we have different types of fire and different solutions. Means we cannot go for same solution for all type of fire. For example, if fire occur uh, in com with due to combustible material, in that case, it is possible to use water to reduce the heat element to control the fire different types of fire and we have different solution the same solution cannot be applied for the same type of fire if the fire occur because of combustible metal uh, in that case we can think to use water to remove the heat element but if the fire due to the uh, due to a fuel or a oil mm. high calorific value oil in that case if you use water what will happen in i'll give you a simple example mm. for example you see I think you can you can relate with this a pan in the kitchen hmm, with the oil generally suppose here is a stove and here is the oil in the pan and sometimes because of overheating in the pan that catches fire right so the oil with the high temperature hmm. so in in this case if you use water what will happen uh, further the water fire will increase hmm, fire further yes. will increase why because the temperature is so high if you use water within no time the water evaporates and increase the oxygen level and it will help to increase the combustion so this is not the solution in that case in this case try to close this pan so that we can stop the supply of oxygen and we can able to control the fire okay so it means different types of fire and different solutions okay so uh, as per the type of fire, we have uh, different options, we have different cases, and we have different systems. Okay, and as per application, as per requirement, also the systems will change. 
so this is very simple concept the fire triangle together the three things so let me read the same you see fire safety at its most basic it's based it's based upon the principle of keeping the fuel source and ignition source up <coughs> three things must present at the same time to produce fire first as i said enough oxygen to sustain combustion enough heat to reach ignition temperature and some fuel or combustion material together they produce the chemical reaction that is fire and the concept is simple take away any of this thing the fire can be controlled or the fire can be extinguished so here the misprint or typing uh, mistake you see take away of any of this thing and again sir repetition you can strike this and continuation here the fire will be extinguished if you if you take away any of this side you got the idea <clears throat> so <clears throat> next some theory is given in the notes for reasons of fire hmm. some general theory you can go through once like fire because of cooking equipment fire because of overheating fire because of smoking in bedroom hmm. then electric equipment you can highlight this you see uh, most of the time uh, most of the cases as per the previous fire hazards based on the survey in india hmm, if you talk about india 57% of the fire because of faulty electrical wiring hmm, in india and in us it's only 3% <clears throat> so you can you can understand uh, this electrical equipment or the faulty wiring hmm. it's very uh, dangerous if you not take care of this properly hmm. if because of faulty wiring because of loose connection because of uh, overheating of equipments electrical equipment there is a chance of fire so one of the major of this fire hazards due to electrical site uh, in india or in many countries uh, but if you take care as electrical engineer or as electrical side if you take care of this all thing we can uh, this will help to reduce the fire accidents okay apart from this candles uh, children hmm, they are playing with the fire etc faulty wiring you see this also important so some information is given just go through one some general information hmm. so in this uh, lighting faulty wiring electrical equipment the major major sources of uh, uh, fire hazards next uh, this point yesterday we discussed types of fire protection system mm. anyhow each and every topic we have a uh, for each and every system we have a separate topic similarly we discuss about this equipments also in the yesterday session with the images in the same list in the in the notes mm. 